Hello everybody, it's me Alicia. So remember Lisa sent me a very big box of uh, Happy Mail? Well, she just sent me another one and this box is twice the size as the first one and um, that first video I did was an hour and 22 minutes long and it took me several days to get that edited and compact into a format that could be uploaded to YouTube. So I'm going to try to make this video faster and if I can't, if it's going to be longer than the first Happy Meal box that she sent me, I'm going to have to do this in two parts. But it's really pain in the neck to do two parts. So. I'm going to try to do this in one video. Okay, so I'm going to take you over to the box and open it up, and then I'll have to bring the stuff over here to the desk to go through it. So here's the box. I opened the top because I didn't want to give my address away, or hers, of course. And I have to show you what the side of the box says. It's really funny. This package is happy to see you, too. I just thought that was so cute. Okay, so... Oh my gosh, there is a lot of stuff in here. I'm going to have to take small amounts over to my desk and go through it. This box is so big it won't sit on my desk. So I have it here on my bed and I'll have to make several trips uh, back and forth. So I'll have to stop filming to come get more. Okay, so I'm going to start taking some of this over there and I'll come back. She sent me some of my favorite storage containers. These are from the dollar store. I did a video on these if you guys haven't seen them. If you want to see the video, just go over to my channel and look for my videos and you'll find it. Um, these containers are awesome. The square ones are my favorite. Actually, they're not square, they're rectangle. But I use them all the time. And lately, my dollar store has not had them in stock. And I've been out of them. And I've been needing more. And she sent me a whole bunch. So I really appreciate this. Thank you so much. I've been needing these. She sent me a lot. And she stores them the same way I do. I take them apart, I stack them, and then I put the lids in a bag. So I thought that was funny that she stores them the same way. So, thank you so much for those containers. I really needed them. And now I have to go back over to the box and get more stuff, so I'll be back. She sent me these storage containers and my camera acts so weird with shiny things and things are white see how it does that um these are really nice containers I like these they have a nice lock on the front I have a couple of these but mine don't lock shut the lid it just flaps around so I have to put a rubber band around it to keep it closed but these are really good containers for seed beads I really like them for seed beads and she sent me a bunch of them there's one two three four, five, six, and seven. This one here has some crystal beads in it. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, very pretty. It pops them out. So pretty. This is my birthstone, Peridot. Looks like rondelles. And here's some more. This one's a different color. Well, same color, different shade. These are bicones, those are rondelles. Here's more bicones. Here's some blue ones. Oh, these are so pretty. More bicones, four millimeter. Gorgeous. Oh, I love these. Wow. Very pretty. And here's some faceted rounds. I don't have blue like that. It's very pretty. And here's some bicones. Oh, these are awesome. I don't have this color in bicones either, so that's really great. And here are some Chinese rondelles. Very pretty. Here's some more. These are on eye pins. Here are some black ones. Uh oh, it opened. There's some black 4mm by cones. And here are some 6mm. 
very pretty. I don't have six millimeter in black by cones, so I'm very happy about that. Oh, and these are beautiful. It's the smoky quartz color. And it looks like there's two sizes in there. Those are gorgeous. These are not black. What are they? Oh, dark red. I don't know if that's showing up. It's like a garnet. Those are beautiful. Very sparkly. And is this hematite color? Nope. It's black or it's the um, dark red? I think it might be the dark red. Very pretty. And here is some more red. These are round. Very pretty. Looks like they're six millimeter. And here are some more. These look like they're Czech fire polish. These are beautiful. I love these. Oh, and here's orange. This is a really pretty orange. And it's AB. Those are gorgeous. And some more. These are beautiful too. And here's some more bicones. These are also very pretty. And here are some clear ones. Some different shapes in there. Okay, so there's still more to go through. I have to go back over there to the box. I'll put this back. I'm going to finish putting this back and I'll come back and I'll show you guys some more, okay? These are really beautiful beads. Thank you so much, Lisa. So here are some more containers, and this one has seed beads in it. These are so pretty. I love those. I think these are six O oh, seed beads. These are clear AB. Very pretty. There's some gold silver lined. Some brown, a mixture of brown. Very pretty. And yellow. Those are gorgeous too. Okay. Those are pretty. And here is another container. I really like this box. These are sea beads and bugle beads. Wow, those are huge. Look at those. <laughs> it's like three-fourths of an inch long. Those are giant. And you know what? These are great for that basket that I made. Do you guys remember the beaded basket I made one time for Easter? Those bugle beads are really good for doing that. Really pretty colors here. I like these. And there's another one. This one here has a mixture of colors. Oh wow. Look at this green in here. That is so pretty. It's really standing out. I don't think my camera's showing it, but it's very pretty. Oh, there's little teardrops. Oh my gosh, these are the Miyuki teardrops. I don't have any of these. And I was wanting to get them for the flowers that I make. But the place that I was shopping at, they were overpriced. And there was other stuff that I was getting there, so I never got to get them. Those are pretty. Very pretty. Wow, these bugle beads are massive. Huge. So cool. Very pretty. Nice selection. Oh, look at that purple. Opaque purple. So pretty. There's a lot of goodies in here. I'd like to dig through this one more, but it's too full. I might spill into the other sides. Okay, there's another container. And I really like this container. You guys said it was from the dollar store and I've never seen this at the dollar store maybe mine just doesn't carry it but this is a really good quality container I think to be from the dollar store um let's see what's in here oh my gosh that is beautiful wow is it a choker maybe 
that is so pretty very pretty I love that I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it back into the box let's see what else is in here here's some turquoise and some nuggets very pretty oh I don't have those those end thingies right there that it looked like a uh, horseshoes I don't have any of those I've seen other people use them, but I've never tried those before. Oh, I think these are for the crystal chain. Those are finished off crystal chains. I don't have any of those either. These are beautiful spacers. I love those. Here's a strand of seed beads. Here's some chain with a lobster claw. Oh, are these more um, charm? Oh, they're charm bracelets. These are really awesome. She sent me some of these last time, but they were purple. They're so pretty. Oops. I'm going to the other side over there. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. This is so chunky. I love it. Big, chunky charm bracelet. And this here looks like a necklace or bracelet. This is pretty. Ooh, I love that. Here's some filigree. Oh, and there's some more in here. Very pretty. Oh, wow, look at that one. That is pretty. Oh, these ones are bigger. You know what? I could put my beaded flowers on here that I make. And then I can have it on a necklace. That would be really cool. These are beautiful. I love these. Oh, there's different ones. There's still more. Look at this one. This one's kind of like a bead cap. It's domed. Very pretty. And what are those? Oh, little connectors. Those are pretty. I like this color. Oh, there's a sparrow charm. Oh, it's a bracelet. Oh, that is so pretty. That's beautiful. Here's some more chain. Oh, this is my favorite chain. Rolo or cable. I've seen people call it different things. This is a necklace. Nice length. This chain can be used so many ways because of how it is. It's an awesome chain. Here's some curb chain and it's um, antique brass. I love antique brass. Here are some chandelier earring pieces. These are pretty. I like those a lot. Some more. Ooh, what's in here? Oh, that's so pretty. It's a leaf. There's feathers. Oh my god. Look at these leaf beads. I wonder what those would be like in my flowers. Those are cool. Here's some more leaf charms. Very pretty. I love leaves and flowers. Here's a feather. Man, those are really cool. I really want to try these in my flowers. And I went through that one. And I think I went through the whole box. Okay, so I have to go back over there to the big box and bring some more stuff over. I'll be back. These are really nice pieces in here. Thank you so much. So I found these bags in the box. And I collected them. I thought I would show these next. Ooh. Lever bags. And the fish hook or shepherd's hook ear wires. I love lever backs. They are my favorite. Oh my gosh. And there's antique brass. I don't have that color. Oh, I'm really excited about this. That's awesome. And are these charms? Yeah, little charms. So cute. I think it's a little starfish. 
really small. And what are these cool square things? Oh man, these are awesome. I love that. It's actually, it feels like it's, I think it's welded on. Or soldered on. That's really neat. Ooh, and there's a bunch of them. Can't wait to play with those. Those are really cool. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. Can you see how pretty those are? For earrings? Could also be an, on a necklace too. It would be a centerpiece of a necklace. More gears. She sent me some of these last time. They're really neat. Here's the uh, cancer ribbon. And here's another one. And here are some more uh, things like these, but they're round. These are really cool. These are going to be fun to play with. I really like these. Okay. I've got more stuff over here to my side. That I have to go through next. And there... In the box, there's this really big blue bag, and I'm thinking that maybe I could just bring it over and sit it on my lap and take the things out of it and go through it, but I'll have to clear everything off of my desk, because it's a pretty large. Here are some antique brass charms. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Oh, look. There's a lady on it. Very pretty. Here's a heart. Looks like there's a few of these. Oh, this is a leaf. That's beautiful. Here's a tree of life charm. That's really pretty too. I don't know what this is. Is it is it a ballet slipper? I don't know. But it's pretty. Very pretty. Oh my gosh, my sister is going to love this. My sister's name is Angel, so... She kind of looks for things that have angel wings. So she would love a pair of earrings made out of these. Those are beautiful. Oh, butterflies. And the uh, gunmetal color too. Those are really nice. They're like filigree. There's four of them. These are beautiful. Oh, it's uh, a sparrow. Is this the same sparrow that was in that bracelet earlier? I think it was, because there's a connector on each side. I'm really happy about this because there is a ring that I was working on, and it, it could possibly be worked as a necklace too, worked into a necklace, but I don't know yet. I have to do more experimenting with it, but if it does work out as a necklace, I would like to use maybe two of these birds. Actually, maybe I couldn't. They would have to be like this. Yeah, maybe it would work. I'll have to remember to put the, that with my uh, project so I don't forget about it. Those are really pretty. Oh, there's wing, wing beads. I've seen people use these for angel earrings. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. You can he actually has little eyes. Can you see that? Really tiny. Here's some more wings. Oh I love these. They're beads. Those are awesome. I love those. 
Oh, here's some more wings. Looks like there's a bunch of different sizes. There's some tiny ones, which are great to put on like a bracelet or something for a little dangle. Oh, here's another butterfly. Oh, that one's beautiful too. Really pretty. Here's a gold one. That is gorgeous as well. I am going to have to put this on a necklace so I can wear it just the way it is. That is so pretty. Oh, th here's a different pair of wings. Looks like there's a few of them. Okay, I think that's all of that bag. These wings are so cool, and I really hope these birds work on my project. I know that what I'm making is going to work as a ring, but I don't know if it'll work in a necklace. So, if it does work in a necklace, I can use those birds with it, and it'll be so cool. I hope it works out. And here are some gemstone cabochons. Oh my gosh, what is that? That is really pretty. Wow. It's like a bluish gray. That is beautiful. I love that. This is pretty too. It actually has a little bit of shimmer in it. I don't know if that's showing up on the camera. And I wonder if I can use this one as a ring. I want to make a cabochon ring. This is pretty too. I love all those swirls and the lines. Very pretty. Oh, this is gorgeous. I think this is adventuring. It's a very big cabochon. Oh, and someone commented on my last uh, video. I did the uh, Happy Meal. And they told me that this stone, which looks like tiger's eye, but it's a different color, is called blue tiger's eye. And I researched it, and I think she's right. It has that look to it. It's very pretty. Love that. Ooh, what is this? It's like blue on one side, and the other side's black. I think it might be the same kind as this. Yeah, those are really cool. This is very pretty too. I'm really excited about these cabochons. I've never had them and then she sent me them and I'm really excited to work with them and see what I can make. Okay, and this here, I think this is mesh, wire mesh. I've seen people use this before. I'll have to play with that, see what it's like. And here's another baggie. There's some beads in here. Very pretty green. And she sent me this tool. She told me she was going to send me this. I think the crimps are in that side. Or not crimps, the screws. It's a little flathead screwdriver. I think this is for the crimps that you screw on. I've never tried these before. It's a really neat tool. And she sent me some bead string wire, size small. Oh wow, it is a beautiful color. It's not gold. I don't know what it is. Is it rose gold? Does it say? It just says metallic colors. I think it's a rose. It is so pretty. And here's a bright silver. I don't have a bright silver or this color. Um, I always get the gray because it's the cheapest. <laughs> here's another one. This one's gold. Yeah, I think that one's rose gold. It's very pretty. And I think I might be able to use this for my barrettes. If I wanted to use a colored wire that was exposed. And here are some more things. Um, these beads here before, I used them. Mine were turquoise. I only had like 
10 or 11 of them. But I used them to make a sea star, a beaded sea star. Do you guys remember that? And I didn't know what they were called. And someone had actually commented on that video a while later and told me what they were. And that they were available at Shipwreck Beads. But these beads are really neat for making stuff like that. These are actually Aurora Borealis. Can you see that? So those are great. I'm excited about those. And here is a bag of pearls. Some really pretty green pearls. I love those right there. That one's pretty too. And here is a caged bead. I wonder if she did this herself. Very cool. I've seen how they do this before. It's really neat. It's very cool. And this bag here looks like it has several things in it. So I'm going to have to open it. Ooh. Oh, it's a necklace. This is pretty. It's really pretty. There's little dangles on it. What is this? Oh, I love that. Is that a leaf? Oh, it's a leaf. That is so cute. That's really cute. And she told me that she, in the email that she sent me, she told me that um, she learned this trick to put straws on your necklaces to prevent them from tangling. It's very cute. What is this? Pretty copper. Ooh. Oh, this is pretty. I love this chain. This chain is so cool. It's like the coolest chain ever. I think the clasp is stuck inside. There it is. There's the clasp. This is pretty. I like this too. And something special's in here. Oh! Is it a sparrow necklace? Is it a couple necklaces? Maybe it's one necklace. There it is. That's the clasp. Oh my gosh, this is really pretty. Look at this. I think it goes... Is this the top one? I think that's the top one. This is so cute. Here, I'll try to lay it down again. Something like that. These two are wrapped around each other, but I'll get them straightened out eventually. This is really pretty. There's a little tassel at the bottom. I love this. So cute. Okay, where'd I put the bag? Okay, there's some more bags. She sent me some more of these beads, and it looks like some smaller ones. I really like those beads. They have that old world look to them. Oh, wow. Very pretty. Looks like maybe there's a necklace in here. These beads are just so cool. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to open this and see what it is. Oh! Those are neat. Oh, there's a bead captured inside of it. That's cool. Those are neat. Put my shovel thing over right here. And these are metal beads. It's always nice to have these. And here's some really neat looking beads. I think they're either bone or acrylic. And it looks like there's some wood in there. These here look like they're acrylic to me. But these ones might be bone. I do have a small collection of bone beads. And I got just about all of them from thrift stores. Oh my god. Holy cow. It's like a lot of head pins and eye pins. Oh, and there's colored ones. Yay! Oh, remember she sent me the um, charm bracelet? It was purple. There are some purple head pins in here. So I can make a charm bracelet. That's so awesome. I'm really excited about that. Here's some eye pins. Oh my gosh, and there's copper eye pins. I don't have any copper. There's black. I don't have black. Looks like there's also antique grass. I don't have any of those colors. Oh, and there's more down here. Looks like there's some decorative eye pins too. I don't have any decorative eye pins. I just make my own with a wire. I'll do a spiral and then I'll put the bead on. Here's some decorative ones. They're so pretty. Those might actually be sterling silver. Maybe. Very pretty. Really excited about this. I'd love to make a charm bracelet with that purple, those, that purple bracelet that she sent me. It's so cool. And here is a necklace. And she told me that she was going to send me some jewelry that she had made. This is pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And there's a few more bags. And then there's this uh, yellow envelope that I have to open up. So here is some wire, copper wire, permanently co colored, 20 gauge. It's a nice bright silver. And here is another baggie. Ooh. Oh, it's a necklace. Oh, I think, wasn't there a matching necklace in this box? Right there's the matching bracelet. That's a bracelet and this is a necklace. Do what you love. That's cute. And here's another one. Ooh, I love, I love this gunmetal color. It is so cool. Awesome chain, too. And here is a baggie of goodies. Looks like, there, looks like there's all kinds of stuff in here. So here are some ear wires, and, oh my gosh, these are chandelier bindings. Oh, that is so pretty. You know what, I think this might match the filigrees earlier that I had. 
Looks like it's the same color. Yeah, it is. Same color. Those are pretty. Oh, these are cool. These can also be used in a necklace. These ones here. And with this big opening, I could probably put some seed beads and wire in there. Fill that up. Here's another one. I like these little ones. So cute. Here's some neat connector pieces. And I think this might be the pieces that go with that tool, the crimp tool. Look at those. I've never had those before. That's a special kind of crimp that has a loop already on it. There's a lot of goodies in there. Crimp covers, cordons. Ooh, gold crimps. A lot of neat stuff. Oh, there's copper. This is awesome. I'm really excited about that, too. I need crimps. And here is the envelope. Let's talk about the yellow envelope. And there's some goodies in here. And you know what? I should probably stop my camera because it does that weird thing with the computer. Every 17 minutes, it cuts the video off. Okay, so in this bag, there is all kinds of goodies. Here are some bracelets. Looks like she made these. Oh, this is pretty. So cute. Oh, I like this one. I think this is made with Czech fire polish beads. And this is a, a flat spiral. Very pretty. Thank you, Lisa. You sent me so many beautiful things. Oh, this was one of my designs. I think I called this Crossing Paths. I think that's what I called it. Beaded bracelet tutorial. It's a really neat design. This is pretty. This is cute too. Oh my gosh, look at the little butterflies. These have holes on them. So these could be sewn onto something or they can be connected together with jump rings. And I love all those colors. Looks like there's some pearls in there too. Oh, some of it's already connected. Let's see. That's cute. I like those. I always uh, find stuff like this at thrift stores. These are cool. <gasps> what is that? That is pretty. This is lamp work. Love that. These are cool. Oh, there's a different shape in them. One's a Teardrop and one's a diamond shape. These are neat as well. Very cool. Oh, here's another gear. Here are some... Chinese rondelles. Very pretty. And here are some hematite beads. 
Looks like there's rounds and barrel shapes. There's some black four millimeter beads in here. Very nice mixture. Oh, there's the rice shaped ones too. Those are cool. Awesome. And here is a baggie of goodies. Look at these keys. I love keys. I can't get it open. There it goes. Oh my gosh, and there's a lot of them. Oh, I gotta open this. <gasps> oh, that is so pretty. Oh, I love this one. So cute. Oh, I have to make earrings. These are so gorgeous. I love geese. Bead mat is sliding all over from the avalanche. Here are some roses. These roses. Oh, they are. They're little roses. Those are cool. They're like filigree. Very cool. What's this? Connectors? Little connectors. Those are cute too. And it's that gunmetal color that I've been after. Here are more roses. These are antique brass and these are the gunmetal. Those are awesome. I love roses. I love shabby chic stuff. I actually have my desk, the top of my shelf, decorated with shabby chic flowers. <laughs> Ooh, daggers. These daggers are fat. Look how wide they are. I don't have any this wide. These are really wide. I wonder what size those are. These would be cool in earrings. Oh, look at that. It's black on one side, and then it has that color in the other. I love the red ones. And the black. The, all gorgeous. Now I have to make more flowers. Gonna try those silver leaves out and these. Here are some gold seed beads. I think they are tenos. Very pretty. Okay, so I have a lot more to go through. There's this huge bag that I haven't gone through yet. I have no idea what's in it other than she told me that she sent me books. So I'm going to go through that next. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. These are amazing. Wow. i got to take these out of the back. Wow, they are so bright. I wonder if that's showing up on camera. Those are beautiful. I love these. Drop dead gorgeous. And here are some pearls. Some beautiful dark blue pearls. The mixture looks like 8 millimeters, 6 and 4. Oh my god. She sent me some more of those. These are round though. The other ones she sent are uh, like a diamond shape. It's called Goldstone. I accidentally called them sandstone last time I think those are so cool I love those beads okay so I think that I went through all the stuff that was in the box except for this blue bag and I think what I'm gonna do is clear all my stuff off the desk and then I'll put the blue bag in my lap and I'll go through that with you guys next Okay, so I have the bag in my lap, and I'm thinking that I might actually not be able to uh, 
go through all of it like this because there's some something big in it. Oh my gosh. So, I forgot what this thing is called. Is it called a loop or something like that? Anyways, I have one of these, but mine is crappy, and I have it over here on my bowl. Mine is broken, and I found this at a thrift store, and it has the three different magnifications on it, and uh, I just got it because it was dirt cheap, but this one is awesome. Look at that. It's metal. It's really heavy. So cool. I use this thing all the time. I'm really excited about that. And this is a metal ring mandrel. Mine is plastic. How embarrassing. This is so nice. Look at the end of it. I'm really, really excited about this. So cool. Okay, so that was one pouch. Outside pouch. And I'm going to go to the other outside pouch, but I think I might have to put this thing on the bed and take you guys over to it, because there's something big in it. Okay, so here in the other pouch, I found some thread. Looks like Nymo. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's like an orangey gold color. Here's some beading thread. Very handy. And here is... She told me she was going to send me this. A gem and jewelry pocket guide because I was telling her that I don't know a whole lot about gemstones and I would love to learn all the different kinds of gemstones so I'm really excited about that I'll be reading that later oh my gosh whoa and she sent me this really big book it's upside down it says gem identification made easy that is so awesome Wow. So cool. I'm really excited about checking those out. And she sent me some bags, which I can never have enough bags. I use bags probably more than anything else. And these are nice big sizes. I don't have this size. I have the smaller ones, which I'm always running out of. And... Here are some more bags. Same size. This is awesome. And she sent me some of the uh, barrette clips. I use these all the time in my videos. There's a bunch in there too. Maybe 15 to 20 of them. That's awesome. And I think this side is empty now. So... I'm going to see if I could try to do it on my desk because I don't know what it would be like in my bed. I think it's too dark over there with the lighting. This is the handle of the thing. I wonder if I could bring the camera over it some. Probably not too good. Oh my god. I wish my tripod was longer. Okay, so can you see this? Here are some more bags. Three by four inches. And in here, let's scoot over, there's a wire jig, an awesome wire jig, and here's the instructions to it. I'm going to set this to the side, and sorry for the terrible camera angle, but this is all I can do right now. And what is this? Is this a tray to work in? It's like a box. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so cool. Wow. This one opened up. I've never seen this before. It's full of gemstones. This is awesome. Wow, there's so many different ones. Different shapes. This is a collection. Very beautiful. So I think there's a couple of these boxes in here. I love the box. I have a thing for boxes, by the way. I collect boxes. 
Oh, here are some tweezers. I use tweezers all the time. Those are really nice. <gasps> what is that? Hmm. I've never seen tweezers with this on it before. I wonder what that is. Maybe something else connects to it? This peg fell out of the uh, wire jig. Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> that is awesome. So I think that you put the gemstone in there. I think that might be what that's for. My dad has one of these to get stuff out of the sink. <laughs> Something falls in the sink. That is so cool. I don't know what that's called, but it's really cool. Oh, this is to measure your beads. There's inches and millimeters. I don't have this. I've never seen one of these before. It says it's from Jewelry Television. I've watched that show before. There's a lot of cool stuff on there. Diamond gauge. Pearl gauge. Wow. Oh, this is so cool. Hope you guys can see everything. This looks like a jewelry cloth. Okay, so I'm going to put these tweezers back. Oh, wait a second. This slides down and it keeps them closed. Okay, now I see. I wonder why that's bent like that, though. Okay, these tweezers are so cool. I love those. Okay, so I'm going to put this back in here. And I think there might be another box on the other side. Hope that you guys can see everything. Okay, here is another pouch. Oh my god, there's two of them in here. Okay, let's see. <gasps> no way! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! <gasps> Look, they're faceted gemstones! I cannot believe you sent me this! Oh my god, amethyst! Wow, look at all the shapes. There's hearts. There's rounds. Oval shapes. This is unbelievable. You have totally blown my mind. Man, those are gorgeous. Wow. So pretty. I just can't believe this. This is such a cool box. I've never seen these boxes before. I guess it's just a thing that the gym people do. Oh, look. Oh, they're named on the bottom. That is awesome. I didn't know that. Okay. So that's what you were talking about in your email. You told me that you named some of them. You put the name on the bottom of them. Amethyst. Okay, now I understand. So what is this? Is this aquamarine? These are really cool. Okay, so I'll have to go back to the other one and flip them over and see. If there's names in the bottoms. These are so cool. I'm totally full of rain right now. Oh my god. Wow. This bag is awesome too. I've never seen a bag like this before. Okay, I'm going to strap these back in. And there's another box right here. This one feels heavier. Let's see. Oh my god. <laughs> Lisa, I cannot believe you sent me all this stuff. Wow. Oh wow, what is that? Can you see that stone? 
That is so unusual. I have to set this down. Does the lid come off? What does it say? Tourmaline quartz? It looks like there's hair in it. It's really cool. That's amazing. Wow. Oh, those are neat too. This is just unbelievable. I can't believe this. There's so much here. Oh, these are beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. Uh oh, that one opened. This is just, I cannot believe it. I'm shocked. There's so many beautiful pieces in here. That is an awesome cut. That is just to die for. So pretty. Wow. This is unbelievable. I can't believe that you sent me all this stuff. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay. Put this back in here. And I think this might be it. Let's see. I hope that you guys can see everything. There's this pouch here. I went through this one. And... Then there was this pouch. Yeah, with all the tools. Okay. So I'm going to look at this again. I didn't know what you meant by them being named on the bottom. Oh, okay. So these are probably the ones that you were talking about that you named. These are so cute. This is a gorgeous stone. This is so cool. I just can't believe that you sent me this. Oh my gosh. I wonder what that one is. Is that one named? That is really pretty. Those look really cool. Very, very beautiful. I'm just so blown away. You would send me all of this stuff. Okay. So. I think this is it. This was the pouch that I started in, I believe. This one here. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take you guys back to the desk. I am so blown away. I just feel so giddy right now. I cannot believe that you sent me this stuff. I'm so, so excited. I just feel like doing the happy dance. I feel like I'm dreaming, actually. Like, this is not real. Um, I'm gonna keep this stuff forever. It's so beautiful. Everything you sent me, even just the, the littlest thing, made me happy. And seeing this kind of stuff, it's just totally blown my mind. I cannot believe you sent me this stuff. I'm so excited. Um, Man, one day I wonder if I could get some of these stones set into a ring or something. Earrings, that would be so cool. I don't know how much something like that costs, but wow. This is such an amazing collection that you have. And I wonder where you got these awesome boxes from. Did you get them from a gem show or something? They're so cool. I'm just so blown away. I don't know what to say. Other than thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I cannot believe this. I'm so shocked. I'm really happy 
to see what I can make with everything you sent me. Um, when you said faceted gemstones, I thought you meant those uh, ga cabochon things. I thought maybe you had some cabochons that had fasted on it. I didn't know that you meant gemstones like this. And these here look like peridot, my birthstone. So, man, that is amazing. Oh, there's some hearts. Man, this is so unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so excited. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to cherish this stuff forever. Thank you so much, Lisa. You've really made my day. Oh my god. Um, please like this video. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and like me on Facebook. And don't forget to share pictures of the jewelry you've made from my videos on my Facebook page and follow me on Pinterest. Thanks, Lisa. And thanks for watching, guys.